right, so we're checking out the only game where you get to play the Hunger Games with hot female inmates who must fight one another in order to either go free or go back to prison while simultaneously probably everyone getting impregnated because it's episode. More prison, Mortal Kombat pregnancies, damn it. As I understand it, in this particular episode, you must lead a team of female convict psychopaths as they battle another team of female convict psychopaths. We had Tom Hanks in a league of their own. Tom Hanks, meet Florida Man Spanx. What would you like to change? I look like I belong in the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Innocent round. <laughs> All right, we're ready to make the best R-rated pay-per-view the world's ever seen. Let's freaking do this. Wow, very first scene and we're meeting up with Colonel Fat Stachio. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, his name is Mark. Florida Man Spanx, what a relief. I barely recognize you without all of your hair. I guess he used to have hair, it just migrated down to his lip. I can't thank you enough for flying over to this side of the country on such short notice. Well, when my best friend from college, who I haven't spoken to in 10 years, offers me a job that pays minimum wage. This is true friendship. I feel like this bastard is hiding my raise in his mustache. What else can I do but book the very next flight? That's so Florida manish of you. We've got to be in California. So what's the job? As you know, I'm the police commissioner. And over the last few years, we've had an issue with overcrowding. Oh Christ. Particularly with female prisons but we came up with a genius and entertaining way to solve our issue. Is it the Hunger Games? Please tell me it's the Hunger Games. This sounds concerning. This is not concerning. This is amazing. We're holding a soccer tournament. Oh, although to be fair, a bunch of female inmates that are in prison for murder, wielding cleats that they probably don't know how to use, it's still pretty lethal. One group of prisoners will compete against another group of prisoners in a friendly game of soccer. God, I hope I can turn my team into a bunch of savages. The winners will get their freedom. What do you think? That's f up. Is this legal? Are the prisoners hot? All of these are very appropriate questions. But in episode, there's only one that matters. Are the prisoners hot? You're about to find out. All right, Mark, I need two things. One to get out of debt and two to get STDs. Bring them out. We want you to coach one of the teams. You fool. <laughs> These girls are aggressive and have great stamina. Why is the stamina one of the main benefits? They just don't know how to actually play soccer. Are weapons allowed? Which is why we need you. Let me introduce you to the team. This is Stephanie. There's like a one in three chance that she's a stripper. Up, oh, stripper move. She is a bit of a promiscuous one. I'm sure you can guess why she was arrested. Prostitution, public indecency, stole lingerie. I think this one's too obvious, so I'm gonna go with the lingerie. Apparently I was wrong. No, not at all. She was a drug dealer. Of course she was. On this side of the country, they don't have gang signs. They have gang dances. It's like step up, but with more drugs. Best in the business. I bet one of my contacts could get us some enhancement drugs for this tournament. No, don't do that. I'll keep that in mind. Yes, we need all the help we can get. Stephanie, if there's one thing I love, it's when my entire team is on amphetamines. Please do. Straight up, we're going to kill the other team. I mean, literally, we're probably going to end up killing the other team. But hey, as long as we win and I get paid, this is Jordan, another promiscuous inmate. Is the whole team going to be promiscuous? She's right behind you. How do you actually know this? Mark, you look like Burt Reynolds got into a fight with his hairline. How do you actually know this? Oh, I've been around the prison block a few times. The fact that his genitals are still in one piece is somewhat impressive. Look at the face over here. He's like, Jesus Christ. You've slept with the criminals. I can make you both Eskimo brothers if you'd like. Ah, not right now. So not no, just not right now. This is Rachel. It's like Poison Ivy went to prison. Although I think she had red hair. Ah, oh, whatever. Still very festive, Rachel. Be careful with this one. She's, let me guess, promiscuous? Promiscuous, yeah. I get the picture. No, no, no. She's a psycho. <laughs> And the other girls aren't? Wait, what was Jordan in here for? She's an arsonist with little to no chance of ever being rehabilitated. I'm glad she was chosen to get her freedom by battling other female inmates in a soccer tournament. You say that like it's a bad thing. It is a bad thing. I'm sure you'll be an asset to the team. Let's just keep you away from lighters. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we'll score a lot more goals if the other team is on fire. You sound fantastic. You can be a forward. This is Kelly. What are you in here for, Kelly? I robbed a bank. Impressive. How did you get caught 
How much money do you have? How many banks did you rob? And let's try this. If it's three, you get to be the goalie. I was only convicted of robbing one, but there might have been others that I pinned on someone else. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, son of a bitch. Welcome to the team. Can you use a gun? What the hell is this? What do we have, like one single cheerleader? What the hell are you wearing, Tori? You're gonna be playing soccer, her name's Tori. Like if you could cut and paste the essence of a cheerleader, this is what you would get. A girl named Tori. Sorry, all the Tories. But I hate kicking balls. I hate getting my balls kicked. We have something in common. I often try to protect my balls with my face. That's why it always looks like this. That's a relief. I want to dress hot and spell out words. Why do I get the feeling like Tori is too incompetent to be in here for like murder or something? Well, that's too bad. If you want a chance at freedom, you gotta play soccer. I hate you. So that's your team. Wait, who was the last one? That's Tori, quite rebellious, doesn't take orders. Good luck with her. She sounds bad. Is she dangerous? Extremely. All right, maybe I was wrong. I guess she's a murderer. What is she in prison for? Jaywalking. <laughs> Then, bitch! God forbid, Tori, what did the sidewalk ever do to you? Jaywalking is like a slap in the face to every crosswalk that ever existed. Oh boy. Is Tori dancing? Yep. We're gonna start off with some practice drills today. I need to see your physical abilities so I can put you in the right positions. I can show you my physical abilities. I can show you the right, Jesus Christ. I can really drill you. You gonna say anything, Kelly? I wasn't listening. Can you repeat the question? The aim is to get the ball into the goal behind me. I feel like I'm gonna get stabbed and then they're gonna kick the ball in the goal. <laughs> Stephanie, you're up first. How come Tori doesn't have to do this? Because she's moonwalking on the bleachers. Because Tori isn't dressed for training. She's too busy dancing. I don't associate with jaywalkers. I don't associate with jaywalkers. You're lucky they let her out of solitary to be here. That makes sense. <laughs> Poor Tori, even her own teammates are afraid of her. All right, Stephanie, go do your ball kicking thing. What are you doing? That was the quickest practice I ever had. Okay, Jordan, you're up. Can you aim a little lower? You need to kick the ball. All right. Don't give up yet, Florida man. No one's pregnant. That looked like a great session, Florida man, Spanks. Mark, all that happened was Tori danced and I lost two incisors. Really? You need to get your eyes checked. These girls are impossible. I'm struggling to ignore all of the sexual tension. Sure. Oh, I'm flattered, Florida man, but I don't feel the same way about you. I feel like there's an IQ limit to get into this prison. <laughs> Why don't you hit the showers? That sounds like it's time for a gratuitous shower scene. I'm sure things will be fine tomorrow. As Florida man slowly limps into the soccer room, he asks if anyone is still there. And we all know someone is. Possibly naked. Just me, Coach Florida man. Oh, Stephanie, thank God. I thought it was the jaywalker. Shouldn't you be back in jail? You'd better finish up before all the hot water is gone. Can I join you? You can't spell STDs without Florida man. Yeehaw! The following day, ladies, today we're gonna work on your stamina. Soccer is an intense game, so you need to be able to last long. I can already tell where this entire sentence is going to go. I showed you how good my stamina was last night in the shower. I'm dying to show you how long I can last. Something dirty about laughs, I guess. <laughs> Why does Kelly look like she's never paying attention? She's over here like, God, I love marshmallows. Kelly? Oh, what do, do we go now? <laughs> Bye. I guess you can all start since Kelly is already running from the police. Holy sh <laughs> Kelly's fast. Why aren't you running, Tori? Tori, I'm jaywalking. You want to go straight to hell, don't you? So how did it go today, Florida man? We're making progress. We're getting nowhere. We're all just so sexually frustrated. We are not making progress. We're getting nowhere. Can we have guns? I'm sure you're just exaggerating. No, you should have seen it. One of my players jaywalked across the laps. Is Jordan bouncing the soccer ball on her head? Is the game intentionally zooming in on her ass as it generates? <laughs> Enjoying the view. Did you learn how to play soccer in the last 10 minutes? Why didn't you tell me you were actually good? I guess I just wanted to fit in with the other girls. <laughs> that moment when fitting in means you have to feign incompetence. The truth is, I really just want to get out of jail. We never actually learned what Jordan did, I can imagine. But why are you in jail in the first place? You seem innocent. Are you a murderer? You're hot. If there's one thing I learned about that one episode where we were the lawyer, 
Hot people never go to prison. Hotties like you don't deserve to be in prison. Oh, I stabbed my ex-boyfriend. Okay, maybe you do deserve to be in prison. Wait, have you only stabbed one boyfriend or do you stab all of your ex-boyfriends? He said I was the only one, but I know he was texting other chicks behind my back. He was probably just ordering something from Uber Eats. So when I get out of here, I'm gonna finish the job. Finish the job. That bastard didn't die. <laughs> this is what I like to see, a girl with goals. She's like, I'm not a murderer yet but I could be. That's why winning this game and getting my freedom is so important. Wow, that's inspiring, scary turn on. Oh, why not? I like a girl who knows what she wants. Like I said, goals. But since there's a chance I might have to go back to jail after I kill him, now might be our last opportunity to. Wait, since I've already had sex with that other Stephanie girl, does this mean I'm going to end up getting stabbed? I know you feel the chemistry between us. Turn her down, sleep with her, send her back to jail. Episode is an episode unless you get stabbed at least once. You're right. I can't waste this opportunity. Wow, we just stayed right on the soccer field. <laughs> what is this? If there's one thing I love doing, it's waking up and screaming at the sky. What is it? My back is killing me. I can't find my shirt. You were meant to go back to prison. <laughs> but seriously, I can't find my shirt. Okay, we're gonna try some more practice drills, but this time I'm protecting my face. All right, Rachel, here's how it works. Kick the ball, but like hit between here and here. Right in the scrotum. Coach Florida man. Oh, Tori, I didn't know you were actually here. I'll get you an ice pack. Don't you touch me, you jaywalking bastard. Look at me, he's like, no, I need you all to keep that jaywalking monster away from me. I'm in pain, Rachel. What if I kiss it better? That won't fix it here in public. Okay, Jesus, three for three. This field gets a lot of use, and I don't mean like for soccer. What is this? The whole team is there still. I love this. Mark is like, what happened to you? And Florida man's like, Rachel. And he's like, did she try and set you on fire? Not yet. All right, everyone, this is our last day of training. If we don't win, you all go back to prison, and I lose my $8 an hour job. Tori, you're gonna be the goalie. Get in there. They can kick the shit out of you for once. Really? What the hell? Why did I just get punched in the face? Oh my God, why do I feel like I'm gonna wake up and I'm going to be tied? Oh, thank God, Kelly, it's you. I thought it would be the jaywalker. I love this, why am I naked? Where's the rest of the team? Why aren't you naked? <laughs> what? I love how the priorities go from something that's kind of makes sense to something that does not make sense. I gotta pick it. She's like me, you were unconscious. Tori took your clothes, so I was here to make sure you were okay. What's your point? You could have still protected me without clothes on. Jesus. You're right. Are you all decent? I want to give you ladies an emotional and motivating pep talk before the game, just like in every movie. Mother of God, they're all in towels. Actually, they're all in Florida man attire. I just wanted to say, try your best. Don't do anything illegal. Do whatever it takes. Stephanie, call your contact. Rachel, start some fires. Tori, don't jaywalk, that's too much. Now go get dressed and beat the shit out of everyone else. All right. Good people. Yes, this is what I like to see. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. I don't even know what's happening here. She's creating a bonfire in the middle of the field. This is what speed does. Oh my God, the rep is like, Jesus Christ, people are dying around me. Mark, how'd we do? We lost the game. How the f did that happen? I had money on this. Well, you know what to say about gambling. I just don't understand. What don't you understand, Mark? Did you see my team? Did you see who you hired? Did you hook up with any of the players? I think all of them. Oh, except for the jaywalker. You know that sleeping with an athlete before a game is bad luck. Is it? Who decided this? Just Jordan, Kelly, and Rachel at the same time? No, no, individually. It was all your fault. Thanks for nothing. The girls go back to prison and I have to sell my house. Wow, I just ruined everyone's life. Hold on, what happens if you actually win? So real quick, I'm just playing this over again to see if we can win, to see what the ending is. And Florida man is like, is the whole team promiscuous? And Mark is like, yes, we find those kinds of women run faster so they're better athletes. What? Damn straight. So I've been playing episode wrong in this one here. Uh, and by wrong, I mean I haven't slept with anyone. And it says, these women have improved their prison behavior so much since working with you. Whatever you're doing must be great. I'm, I'm choosing all the wrong answers, Mark. All right, girls, none of us have had sex. It's time to win. I just wanted to say, try your best. Don't do anything illegal. Do whatever it takes. We already did this and everyone went back to prison. So try your best. Oh, and Mark lost his house. I guess that's a thing too. You've all worked really hard this week and I'm proud of you no matter what. Wow, this sounds like a real speech. Now go get dressed. Okay, Tori is still dancing in front of the goal. I mean, nobody's dead yet. This is great. 
They're two points ahead with only five minutes to go. Yeah, Mark, we're doing great. Maybe I should have went ahead with the steroids just to make it five points. Did you hook up with any of the players? Sadly, no. I was just a really good coach. I see. So you let the tension build? No. I was just keeping things professional. Plus, it worked out really good. The girls are taking the tension out on the other girls. Oh, wait a second, that sounded really bad. You know what I mean, they're doing good. In the end, all of the girls joined in on Covenant, except for Tori, because they don't allow jaywalkers into their folds. I think I prefer the ending where everyone goes back to prison and I get a ton of STDs more. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Episode. Till next time, stay foxy, much love. <laughs>